it's Tharsh and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have another 1v1 battle in Total War Attila. So I'm playing Rohan and I'm over here on this side. Obviously I have a massive cav force and the person that was actually uh, trash talking me, I beat him in the previous 1v1 battle we did and he asked for a rematch so this is that rematch. This time he is once again playing Gondor. So yeah, he's playing Gondor again. This time he brought like five units of uh, cavalry, three units of swan, and two units of Gondor cavalry. And uh, yeah, you guys can see what he's doing. He's corner camping. So yeah, we're doing a 1v1, guys. Remember that. We're doing a 1v1. And you know, our rules were 1, 2, 4, aka uh, 1 archery per team. Two pikes per team and four archers per team and he decided to corner camp after getting absolutely destroyed the previous match and he also cheated because he had two units of uh, fountain guard and he had a unit of prince's coast guard and we were only allowed two units of pikes not three pole arms count as pikes anyway i'm going to fast forward this uh this time i had yeah i had i had 2000 men he had 2300 men so he still outnumbered me even the, uh this match and I'm just going to fast forward this because this is going to take so long. But yeah, basically what he's doing here is because he had that extra unit of pi uh, pikes and he wasn't allowed to. So he's sending it here to die and I'm sending my cab to kill it. Though honestly, I still lost so many units kill trying to killing this even though he faced them uh, the wrong way and everything. But yeah, so this is the second 1v1 we did and... Yeah, the first 1v1, if you guys haven't watched that, go and check it out. I played in Lazarus there, he played Gondor, and uh, I was outnumbered because he had like 800 women more than me, but I still was able to crush him and uh, win. This match is a lot closer, so this match is pr it's pretty interesting in the end. And yeah, but right now, as you can see, he's doing absolute noob tactics. Like, I mean, you, in a tournament, you're never allowed to corner camp, but yeah. He's corner camping like this so that I can't flank behind him or anything. Basically removing 90% of the skill from the match or trying to anyway. So yeah, he's Prince's Coast Guards. I'm charging them and getting rid of them. Still losing a lot more men than I would have liked with two units of cab charging in. I mean, I know they're pikes, but still he, they were, he made them face the wrong ways that I could kill them easy, but I still lost so many men there, which was kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm going to cut right now and I'll cut back once we have some action because it's going to be a lot of standoff and because I don't actually I don't think I can actually see him I'm not sure if I can but yeah he's corner camping so we're going to be back okay, guys but, so I'm back and as you can see I was able to convince him to leave the corner because I told him like that's a bloody noob tactic I mean come on you're trying to 1v1 to prove you're better than me and you asked for the rematch and now you just want to corner camp so I, I was able to convince him to move out of it, but he's still basically corner camping, though a little bit not as bad, but like, yeah. He's got this big line here extending to the border, and yeah, over here he's got his cab guarding that flank. Though, I do outnumber him. I mean, I am Rohan. I've got like, yeah, I've got three units of Aeod of the Westfold, I've got an Aeod of the Gap, I've got King Theoden. So, where is Theoden actually? He should be at the, yeah, there's Theoden at the front. Stayoden is, is one of those kings that lead from the front. I got a bunch of Knights of the Mark. I have some Knights of the House of Earl. I have three units of Guards of the Golden Hall, three units of Garrison of the Hornbug, and two units of Aeolian Menadons. As for his army, he's got two units of Fountain Guard. Probably got the three units of Citadel Guard max that you could have, I assume, yep. And the rest of his army is just spears. Like He just brought an absolute ton of spears. His entire army is spears. Archers and Cav. That's it. That's all you got. I mean, mine is pretty much the same, but like, I'm Rohan, man. I don't have good infantry or any of that. So, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. And once again, I have to attack. The last game, I had to push forward and attack. This game, I had to push forward and attack as well, because he's once again just sitting back and defending and not attacking. And this is a really hard attack for me because like if he was fighting me in the middle of this field I would be able to flank him, outflank him, destroy him and he, now he's just sitting back. I mean, come on. I mean, at least he's not corner camping anymore. I mean, he's still basically corner camping though. 
I mean, you guys let me know what 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 do you guys think? If you guys were in my position, you know, if you guys were fighting this battle and your opponent corner camp there or even corner camp like this, what would you guys do? Anyway, I'm gonna speed up because it's just yeah, it's gonna take a while before this fight gets going. Okay, and uh, I say that, but I think. Okay, so I actually have my garrison for Hornbook shooting, and I'm once again killing his uh, Italian Rangers as well as his Blackroot Vale Archers. Just look at this Italian Ranger unit, it's all dead. Even this other unit, it's all dead. So, yeah, he's trying to charge out here with his Knights of the Silver Swan, and I'm charging my Knights of the Mark. And I've got a lot more calves. I, I'm not scared about winning this guy. I know I'm going to win this calf fight. Not the best charge, but I mean, hey, a charge is a charge. So yeah, I've charged in my Knights of the House of Earl. I'm re-charging this cab over here, the Silver Swan Knights. We've got two more units of Knights of the Silver Swan fighting against my Knights of the Mark. And yeah, i got my Knights of the Mark fighting. He's gone to a cavalry over there. On this side, I still haven't moved my all my men forward. I have moved my spear forward a bit though. I'm still just using my garrison of the Hornbug to kill as much as I can. I'm moving King Theoden over to that side and I think I'm also moving, yeah. I think I'm just moving all my archers over to this side just because I really don't have a choice. They can't do anything on this side. They can't push through these spears. They're not going to push through Fountain Guards either. It's just going to be suicide for them. So I'm moving them over to the other side and uh, let's times two speed this. Yeah, this unit, I mean, his Knights of Silver Swan are so strong. I have two units of, I have three units attacking this unit and it's outflanked and yeah, it's still doing so well. King Theoden charged in finally. So he's, I charged him into the back of the Citadel God because he sent a unit of Citadel God to help out his uh, Knights of the Silver Swan that were fighting there. So I decided to charge in Theoden. Over here, his uh, Gondor Cavalry is actually destroying mine. Okay, that's a bit of a surprise, but I just want to send help there. I brought my extra cab units over and I'm psycho charging some of them in and out. Let's go back to normal speed. Witness this charge by Theoden King. Nice charge. So, yeah, charged him in over there. I'm charging this. Yep, this nice little silver swan is finally breaking because I'm charging it from the side with the nice little mark while the other units are still engaged. I am sending another uh, unit of my Knights of the House of Eol to... I'm not sure, am I pronouncing it right? Is it Earl or Eol? I, I hope I pronounced that right, guys. But I'm using them to psychocharge these guys. I'm charging up my Aeon of the Westfold into the Gondor Spear Cavalry. Over on this side. Yeah, you can see what he did. Like guys, I, I mean, this is a 1v1 battle to see who's better, like it's a 1v1 challenge. My opponent first corner camped, then he did this basic still corner camping thing he had going on, and now he made a new box. Like he literally made a new box. Like, oh my god, I got my guys still over here though. I'm just uh, cleaning up the cap fight before I charge in my infantry because I want to have all my cap available for me. So let's just speed this up. Yeah, over here, uh, yeah, I just got my archers still shooting. I'm trying to kill his fountain guard, but he's just protecting them with his Gondor Spear infantry. So yeah, his fountain guard are going to live, unfortunately. His Italian Rangers are out of ammo. Another unit of them? Yeah, they're basically dead, that's fine. Uh, yeah, actually, some of my yeah, some of my Knights of the Mark actually broke fighting his Gondor Spear cavalry. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of extra units over here. I'm just trying to clean up this last unit of uh, Knights of the Silver Swan as well as this Gondor Spear Cavalry. So once that's over, then I'm going to charge in. I was I was actually getting pretty pissed during this battle because first, you know, with this corner camping, corner camping really annoyed me. Then the basically second version of corner camping annoyed me, and then the fact that he new boxed. Like that really got that really annoyed me so much. Especially and I wanted him to attack me this time, but he didn't want to attack. Even though last match I attacked him, I was forced to attack him again this time. So right now, yeah, I'm just uh yeah, okay. Cab, gondo cab that's oh, okay, kind of it's wavering, but it's gonna break. Just one more charge will break that. 
uh, this caviar is also breaking. I'm moving the rest of my cab ready to thing. And the problem attacking this is, so he's all these units are spears. Spears, good plus cab, you know. All of them are spears. Then he's got two units of fountain guard. So this was definitely hard to attack. So right now I'm moving my men up ready. It's like I'm getting them nice and close so I can then charge them in. So yeah, yeah, my God of the Golden Hall just went down and started fighting here. Yeah. Kind of sad considering they're just going to get marked by Fountain God. Uh, yeah, uh, he's, yeah, he's trying to, he's moving, he's moving his general to try to reinforce his sides. I'm moving my archers as well to try hit the sides to try break the square. Because the thing about fighting in a square formation is once you break one side, that's, that's pretty much when it's over. So, yeah, now, okay, let me go normal speed. Uh, normal speed, there we go. Beautiful charge. But my Knights of the House of Earl. So basically what I'm trying to do here is, because these sides have the uh, Fountain God, I'm engaging them with my infantry to make sure they can't move this Fountain God. And now I'm using my cap to try Psycho Charge the side with just the Spears. I mean, I know the Spears are still going to do good, but like... I mean, I have to do this. He made a new box. This is my only choice. So I'm just trying to use my cap to psycho charge against the spears because they'll at least do a bit of damage there. As for the rest, yeah. The rest of the square, I have it occupied with infantry. Guards of the Golden Hall there, as well as the Via. Some of my, my guards of the Hornbug over here are fighting on these side. And some of my early men at arms fighting over here as well as. I try to attack through the side over here. And this unit, I'm just psycho charging it, as you can see. So this charge, kind of ineffective because of how many units I had in front. And then I still got the rest of my cab just sitting around. At this point, I'm at 1600 men, he's at 1100 men. But yeah, he's new boxed, so this is really hard for me to break in, especially with an army of cab. An army of cab against a square formation or a square box made of spears and pikes. Yeah, that, that's definitely an extremely hard one to break through. And now it's just a grind. To try to break it. The side with the fountain god and the citadel god though, absolutely wrecking me. Me still trying to just psycho charge. Some of my yeah, some of my AO of the Westworld are breaking. I don't really have a choice though. Like I'm not sure, guys. Do you think I some like, something else I could have done better to try break into the square? I tried my best. I got my guys fighting, pulling spikes, trying to charge the more vulnerable spear only sides. Maybe I should have left my Aeon of the Westfall in the fight. They are melee cab, but maybe I should have left them in the fight rather than charging them in and out. So I got my Knights of the Mark charging in. Standing in his Italian Rangers to try help over there. Because he doesn't want me to break through. Because if I break through, I can recharge his pikes, recharge his pikes, recharge his spears. That could definitely cause a lot of problems. I charged this unit of uh, Knights of the Mark in. So they're just getting wrecked, unfortunately. Now over here, I'm able to get a unit of ailing men at arms through. So I run them, basically, I just run them straight through the scap here. So that was really good for me. I was able to get them through. And then I recharged his fountain guard. Uh, but then he, unfortunately, he sent his Italian Rangers. And remember this guy, Italian Rangers are really, really good in, a, in a melee. Like, uh, if I can, okay, let me do this and then. Italian Rangers, 47 melee attack, 36 melee damage. My Spears, 31 melee attack, 27 melee damage. So yeah, Italian Rangers are really good in melee. And so they're able to unfortunately break this unit of Aeolink Men at Arms. basically kill them completely. In the meantime, I'm trying to charge him. Uh, King Theoden charged in here, unfortunately. He lost a lot of men to these pikes. And I'm just going to speed up again. And yeah, I'm going to speed up because it's pretty much just, as you can see, it's just a square formation with the cab charges coming in whereby I can to try and deal as much damage. 
I think yeah, I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to side charge these Citadel Guard to get some nice kills. Not bad, not good. Only about like five. Okay, no, maybe about ten kills there. Not too bad. Not too shabby. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna times what speed this guy's because this battle is so long. There's 30 minutes just I'm trying to break in ready. here, and then his final stand. So yeah, my, as you can see, my cab is all getting slaughtered, but I'm still sending them in. I don't really have a choice. And here he reforms, so he pulls back his unit of Fountain Guard. He pulls them back over here. His other unit of Fountain Guard is over here. And then he pulls back all his extra spearmen along with his general this side. Over here, I'm surrounding this Gondor Spear Infantry. I've got cabs surrounding it. Guards with Golden Hall. So I've got them surrounded there. I've got these guys surrounded there. I'm surrounding the spear units over there and I'm killing them all. In the meantime, over here, I'm using my cab to try and break through. Though they unfortunately keep wavering and breaking. Okay, I finally destroyed this unit of Condor Spear Infantry while they're wavering and they're gonna break pretty soon. And then I just need to help break this unit over here. Now he did a triangle. So, I mean, if corner camping wasn't enough, second corner camp wasn't enough, new box wasn't enough. Now he's doing an even smaller triangle new box, which is very annoying to go up against. I mean, you guys didn't even know Dominant Command Section. What would you guys have done? Would you guys have just put the battle? Or, I mean, what would you have done to try and break in? I mean, I don't think I could have done much more. I pretty much tried everything I could. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get my uh, Garrison of the Hornbug. I'm trying to, like, order them into, like, a line formation so I can charge the side of the Fountain God over here. So, I, I am trying everything. I'm trying to hit them on the side where they're weakest. I'm trying my best. Over here, yeah, we've uh, outflanked the whatever's left of this Gondor sword infantry. Uh, sword infantry, what am I saying? This Gondor spear infantry. We've outflanked them with my cars of Golden Hall. I'm just trying to kill them now. I uh, don't. Yeah, I've got some cab left, not much, but I do have a couple units of cab left. Uh, he yeah, charged his archers out, so. I'm uh, trying to kill them now with my own archers. Are these Ethelian? Yeah, these Ethelian Rangers, though. My god, they do a lot of damage in melee. Man, now I'm moving. Basically, I got my units of Garrison of the Hornbug over here, too, so that I don't want him to turn around these pikes and put them here or anything. So I have the unit here to try to threaten him. I got my guys formed up again here because I want to try charge them into the side, like right here, because there's no pikes. Get these guys into pulling out their swords and then fight. Crush the uh, side if I can. Uh, over here, yeah, as you can see, I'm doing it as well. Yeah, with my gods of the golden hall. So, uh, you may, a lot of you guys probably just like, why are you taking so long? Just bloody attack. I'm trying my best to just, you know, exploit the weaknesses. And so, the only weaknesses in this triangle I say with are the corners, like over here, over here, over here. So, yeah, I've charged in my gods of the golden hall over here. So, they're fighting with these spearmen. Then from the side, I set these guys in a line formation to try attack the side of these fountain guard because I want them. Yeah, as you can see, like some of them pulled out their swords. That's what I want because once again, pull out their swords, I can kill them nice and easy. But he just pulls them back and retreats, which is makes it very annoying for me. My cab can't do anything, so I'm just trying to break through with my infantry at this point. And as you can see, it still takes me. If you look at the time, it takes me another 19 minutes to break through. I've got 500 men. He's got 350. And it's just, it's just, this is just, it was so annoying for me. Like, to try and break through this, it was just so annoying because it just took, took so much of time. And I mean, it's such a new maneuver, like, I mean, I guess, like, because I have cab, he can't do much else. But I mean, come on, you could still, like, not do this. This is, this is just, it was very annoying for me. I was very frustrated when I was fighting this. So, yeah. All he's got is just it's just a double layer of fountain god and there's no way I can attack that head on Which is why I'm just trying to break through the weakest point the weakest point is still units of Citadel God and Gondor Spear Infantry Which is by no means weak, but it's the weakest point of this in the meantime I'm just trying to continuously attack the corners of his uh, formation over here So moving out reforming all my guys 
I have a unit of pretty healthy night. Well, not healthy, but like half health nice of the House of Real. And I got some Aeod of the Westfold also at half health. I think my. Yeah, I think Theoden died, honestly. I'm pretty sure Theoden dead. Poor Theoden, man. I kind of want to charge these guys, but it's so hard to. Ch I can't get a rear charge on them because of these bloody Fountain Guard everywhere. So I'm just going to have to continue charging with the spears. Charging the spears, uh, you know, head first. Straight from the front. And now, okay. At this point, yeah, what do you, Oh my god. You thought new box was bad. Corner camp was bad. Triangle new box was bad. Now he's back to back camping with Fountain God. What exactly are you meant to do against that? Like, bro, it's so. Oh my god. Over here, he had. Oh, the reason why he, that is because he he saw that he had a square formation, so he basically put all his spearmen one top of the other into square formation, and yeah, what I did is I moved my guards to the golden hall, nice and close, and then I start using my cab on the back sides to rear charge. So that would act, and then now yeah, he tries to get uh, he tries to flank my guards to the golden hall, so I have to start attacking over here, even though I'm gonna like lose a lot of men, whatever. I don't really have much of a choice. So yeah, that's what I'm doing over here. I'm sending these guys in, trying to attack from the sides to actually do some damage. And now, my Aeod of the Westfold is ready. So let's click on them, actually. Uh, alt, can I do that? Beautiful. Charge, boys, charge. Now. Oof, look at this. These guys are here, they just see all those font guards there with those pikes. This is a movie though, they would like just knock the pikes aside. Beautiful charge over there. So I'm just gonna psycho charge in and out, in and out. Let me leave that. But yeah, basically I'm just gonna psycho charge in and out here. Yeah. Uh, one of the units actually went out of formation, that's brilliant for me. As you can see, my out of the Westfall are just racking up the kills. Now, the let me actually drop. Excellent. Okay, so. We actually killed their general, so that was beautiful. We killed their general who was in the Citadel Guard unit. He flanked around here. As you can see, he has one unit over here of uh, Final Guard holding back. The other unit here is just poking my guards with the and killing them. I'm trying to attack them because like, they pushed a bit further apart. Like one's there, one's there. So I'm trying to attack them with my unit of cab, my nice Lars of I'm trying to charge in, but now he's kind of stopped, puts a stop to that. So my Aeod of the Westfold are still charging and we're breaking uh, those three units of spears. Citadel God, which is generally in a broke, Gondoswan in broke, it's just the other Citadel God that's still there. And once that breaks, yeah, so he's just gonna have two units of Fountain God left now. If only I could have like stopped them here before they reformed their bloody back-to-back -back formation. Back-to-back -back formation was so annoying. Takes me another six minutes to kill these two units. So yeah, I'm gonna just go to times four speed again, guys. But as you can just look, oh look at the bodies here. Just look at the bodies. Oh my god. Uh, my cab. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to kill any retreating troops. Try and upgrade. Get some. Get another chevron on them if possible. And now he was trying to retreat back here and get his men against the wall. So I just set my guards golden hole there. And now I'm trying to obviously get my men into formation to attack the sides. But then he just keeps reforming, so I can't. There we go. I attack the sides over here. So that's good. So this is like one of the only ways I can to break to break them, pull, attack them, and get them to pull out their swords. But then he just falls falls them back and reforms again. So yeah, guys with golden wall, like they're attacking this. I try to charge into the side with my cav. The men are losing faith. And the yeah, my and that unit cav broke. This unit broke and then came back and then I think yeah they break again before I can even do anything. Or do they? Yeah, they break. The men are running. Well, this is this is a much closer battle than last time. I've only got 80 men left. He's got 50 men left, and then I broke that unit and I broke the other unit, and I was finally able to win. But 
I was, I was, even though I won, I was so annoyed because of the strategies he used. Like, it's not even, it wasn't even, I don't feel it was good because I feel like it was just, it was just very noob stuff. Like, corner camp, corner camp again, square box, triangle box, back to back fountain guard. So, yeah, let's just end the replay and have a look at our kills. So, the most kills I had, I think, was. Uh, yeah, it was one of my archers actually with 188 kills, so that was good. Uh, the most kills he had was on his fountain god, obviously, with 360. His two fountain god units basically killed 500 men, five, over 550 men between them, which is over a quarter of my army. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on those post notifications. And yeah, this was the first time I've actually 1v1 the trash talker, so, well, not for this. Technically, this is the same trash talk in both matches, but yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it, even though it did get a bit annoying, and I'll see you guys in the next one.